Welcome to Energy Stew. This is Peter Roth, your host. And what's this year going to be like? How do we feel about it? Well, I think a lot of us are apprehensive. <laughs> There's a lot to be concerned about. We have no idea. And many of us really feel that we're in for a lot of change. But there's a way to find out about this year. And we've had the show every year in January many times. And, and we use the human design system to help us know what the year is, is going to be like. And to help us again each year is Regina Concatelli, another human design analyst as I am. And we both love to talk about human design. Regina, welcome to Energy Stew. Thank you, Peter. Yes, it is. Well, we enter this year with a lot of anticipation, curiosity. What's it going to be like? Yeah, it might be good. It might be troublesome and good. <laughs> so we don't know. This is life, right? Yeah. Uh, well, like none we've ever had before. This is a new world we're living in that's quite confusing. And we need a lot of help to get through it. Uh, help in understanding, help in leadership, help in commun community, um, just help in having better brains. <laughs> Collaborations and alliances. Exactly, community. And so we have a lot to hope for this year. But each year, the human design system plugs in. At a particular moment in time, it actually kicks out a chart of the year. And there's a, a, not, a, not only a date, but a, an exact moment in time. And, and for this year, it's January 22nd. At, uh, 2.19 in the morning, Greenwich Meridian time, right? You have that too? Yeah, that's what I had. So that would be the 22nd for those in Europe and the United States, it's on the 21st, eight hours before that. But somewhere in the world, it's gonna hit the 21st or the 22nd of January. Right, and it tells us what traits are going to be in this year and it uses the human design system uses the position of the planets at that moment of time and even there's another moment that actually starts in october october 27th it's the unconscious part of the way this year is going to work and then the january 22nd is the conscious part and together they constitute the ways that we're going to be behaving and what our consciousness is going to understand and respond to for this year. So, uh, and every year there's actually four traits that remain. Uh, and that's how one reason why we know the exact moment in time at the beginning of the year, because um, they, they have to do with the, the position of the sun and the earth. And when it's in the exact same position each year, then that tells us how it works. And then the information pertains to the Chinese I Ching, the ancient Chinese book of wisdom, that has information that the system draws from. So it uses the particular, it's called them hexagrams, which is what they're known as, there are 64 of them. Uh, those are uh, traits or concepts. And each one is called the hexagram because it's seen in, in China using uh, yin and yang symbols of, of solid lines and broken lines to create six horizontal lines, one on top of another. And um, the combination of yin and yang lines uh, create all the variations. So there are 64 variations of how yin and yang work together to create life. And, and these are all the concepts. And, and so the 
uh, genius of the system that knows how to plug the stars into the hexagrams and find out which hexagrams are relevant to that moment of time. Very good. Thank you. <laughs> well, you and I are very practiced at explaining this. <laughs> so let's talk about this year. And among those first four traits, though, let's just start. They, they come up every year. And those aren't necessarily good ones. There's one about greed. So our life every year, humanity suffers from greed. And let's just hope that as that continues, it becomes a more positive greed. You know, not a selfish, uh, arrogant greed and something that we can all, you know, be greedy for is, you know, a better humanity, better life, better world. And, and the other has to do with unnatural leadership that I, I don't, I ne I've never liked that we've had really leaders through history that we can't trust. And uh, some good ones, some wonderful ones, and some terrible ones. But it's something that we have to work through. And, and let's hope that that also, as we move forward into greater consciousness, become smarter about everything, work in this new age, that we have leadership that we can feel it's more natural and we can trust it better. So, so this is a good start. Now let's talk about the, the particular traits of this year. And do um, you want to go through some of the um, I Ching traits that showed up? in particular, like at the moon and um, some of the other planets that tell us. Yeah, I would say just to um, take off from what's every year, which is this, um, this new beginning, this starting, is that we also have Venus flavoring that same hexagram, only in a little different way. Right, so from the sun, it's reasonableness, what's real and what is fantasy, you know, uh, what comes with um, the release. And with the Venus, it is um, a little more, not so favorable the position that it's in, but it's that survival of the fittest. And I think that is part of the past. You well, know? it's also struggling with change. And, uh, you know, the moon, the moon is, is, uh, is kind of helpful in, in this because uh, we're, we're going to strive for harmony and uh, we're going to strive for justice. So that's our feelings. So we're bringing those wonderful feelings forward this year, seeking to right the wrongs and find harmony in society. But then we come to... Venus and Venus is uh, uh, holding on. You know, it's like, wait a minute, I, I'm not comfortable with so much change. I don't want that. So there's going to be a reaction. There are going to be there are so many people out there who are trying to pull us backward. Yeah, and and um, I would say the overall, you know, there was a couple of themes that jumped out at me of just. It's and the first one was adaptability and change and potential and and presence and so then but that that means letting go and and trying new things just the overall chart with so many of the third lines is really about adaptability but the the Venus is not quite ready to let go yet um, right and Venus. Venus has to do with our sense of identity. Yeah. So and what are our values? Right. So we don't want to give up what we can identify with. Right. And, and so it's that's really the biggest problem. But uh, also at Venus, we have stronger intuition. And that will help us a lot. You know, we'll be able to see more clearly and understand, yes, we are in struggle. Yes, we don't want to let go of the Camelot we thought we had, <laughs> which wasn't true. 
Yeah, and it'll be interesting to see in the coming years because where this is positioned now with this Venus and this intuition, it's not that strong. It's still, we're still learning how to deal with our intuition. We're still making, learning how to make that distinction. The line is confusion. So it's not quite settled yet. So right. it'll be interesting to see how that plays out. But there's definitely um, in, in this chart that that um, intuition is, is far more coming into play than action. Right. But let's look at how this year starts with what's known as the South Node. And, and that has to do with uh, rejecting failed principles. And, and so right away, we all are into that. We're into seeing how terrible things are and what isn't working. And we want to reject what's going on, uh, most people, at least if, uh, uh, because <laughs> cause the other part is bigotry. And that has to do with intolerance. And intolerance, you know, I'm very intolerant of people who aren't educated and um, just are speaking or reflecting propaganda. And, you know, and, and who knows, maybe we all are in some form and don't know it. There's a lot of, there are a lot of secrets in government. And I think a lot of that's going to be exposed this year. I think there's a lot. And, and I think Trump is partly responsible, at least in our country, for um, exposing how ugly everything is, including himself, including his, the government he created. But he's also destroying the government that was there that actually had a lot of secrets. And, and so everything is being torn down, you know, including himself. And, uh, and so the system doesn't work. And so we have to reject those failed principles and, and be intolerant. I mean, I, I really feel that we want to be tolerant, but there are things we can't be tolerant about. And that shows up very strong in, in, the, in our energies for this year, is being aware of our intolerance and in, in many cases, promoting it too. I'm, there are people in situations I'm very intolerant of. And I'm glad about that. <laughs> well, we certainly see that in our world right now, um, and people's voices are becoming stronger of what they're going to tolerate and not tolerate. So I would say we're, we're already moving into that and it will continue. And, and in most cases, it, it's a good thing. Right. Yeah, because that's where, uh, that's how change works when we're yes. intolerant. Mm -hmm. But it's also being intolerant of, of people that, that we don't appreciate. And that's coming out. Can't help it. So, but, and let's look at, at, as we go through the year, we get into what is seen as the North Node, which in this system, um, it, we, we grow into it. And we have a trait called the Democrat. So in other words, we're looking for consensus. We want to see how many people agree with whatever changes are going on and we want it to be agreeable to as many people as possible. And then we also have a trait where it's called irresponsibility, but I think that's too simple. It's really about um, being too caught up in the formulas of our goals, of our new ideas, and not really being able to apply them yet. A lot of talk and, and you can't yet act on them. Does that make sense? Yeah, and we'll see how much action actually happens this year. But what I see, I hope I don't jump out of your process there, but I see a big flavor of this um, alliances. The ambition, the 54 people coming together. Right, trying to find formulas they can agree on, but not yet being able to put them into action. And that makes perfect sense because we have to get the foundation of who can we trust, who are we going to work with. Um, we're, what's that one line? Shaking hand with the devils. You know, it's well, like, we don't have that this year. Oh, uh, I don't we, see it. I, I missed that. 
Um, but it it it, uh, it comes up. You know, we've had it occasionally. But, okay. Um, I, I, I'm pretty sure I saw it, but I'd have to look at my notes and I want to... Uh, no, I, I went through uh, the chart as, and I, it didn't pop out. Maybe I missed it. So let's keep moving along and um, understand, for instance, that Mercury is how we think and express ourselves. And what do we have there but secret relationships? <laughs> exactly. Well, this is what I'm, what I'm talking about. It's like um you know who are we gonna who are we gonna ally with and right. you know, and we're not all gonna know behind the scenes that these two over here have had something going on and we didn't even know it and we've certainly seen that being surfaced but but a lot of times we need to be private with people to to make plans to introduce them to others you know um if something is half-baked you don't want to publicize it until it's baked, so you have to exactly. keep it secret. So that makes sense. And then there's also in Mercury a deep need for self-expression this year. So there are a lot of people who are going to be expressing themselves all over the place, and we see that. It's and there's such a, a format for that, <clears throat> and that's wonderful. So it's so far this chart is is really speaking the language that we want to hear for this year yeah it's the 28 2 and jupiter that is shaking hands with the devil distasteful um, alliances okay oh i see that but what that is uh, i have that as um rigor and vigilance and that you really have to be on top of things that's what i had in my uh, in my notes, um, I should look at that and see if I'm got something wrong. But um, these are um, I have all these. Oh yeah, taste right, right. You're right. Um, checking hands to the devil. Thank you. I don't know how I missed that. Oh, I see. It said Saturn is. is I'm. I. I was misplacing it. I overlooked that. Thank you. We're going to have to shake hands of the devil this year. Yes. <laughs> but, well, you know, and there's both sides of that, you know, right? Sometimes it's just uh, intuitively, this is what I, I just have to go along with this person to, uh, to, you know, get the result. Or if it's, you know, just doing it at the sake of, of personal gain as right. well. Right. I mean, it'll be many different kinds of manifestations of shaking hands with the devil. It's kind of like called crossing the aisle. And in order to create alliance, in order to find communion, sometimes we have to understand what the devil wants. Exactly. Like I said, you know, there's, there's many ways that it can be expressed and not necessarily the way it initially sounds. <laughs> right. So... <laughs> Very interesting how how that trait is there for this year, and I'm so uh, so glad you saw that, and um, and also at Jupiter because Jupiter is how we expand, and so expansion is going to be through shaking hands with the devil, so that really means understanding all sides of the issues, and. Um, <laughs> I was just laughing because I was reading about a meeting at the White House that um, had our president shaking hands with everybody, you know, agreeing with everybody. He was agreeing with everybody. People would contradict each other and he'd agree with both of them. I think I saw a video clip of that. But it was amazing. So in a sense, that's kind of like, well, let's, let's call everybody the devil and let's shake hands with everybody. <laughs> Maybe, a little bit in all of it. Maybe that's an answer. So, yeah. um, so let's move on to Uranus and Mars. Um, you know, they're they're two big players. Uranus is always the unexpected kind of the wild card, and it's um, it's hanging out in growth. And I think it it there's some real positive potential here. Self actualization. Yeah. Self actualization growth that is self-fulfilling and leads to influence 
and also even on the on the unconscious side of nurturing power to sharing your growth so yeah. i see that as as very a, positive because uranus plays a big role in our lives because it's it's where things when things are in chaos the uranus is what we count on to come through for us and so self-actualization <laughs> well and it's what we're living in we're living in such unexpected times and and you know uranus is you know the absolute unexpected but also you know potential possibility right and so thank thank goodness that uh uranus is on our side with uh and with nurturing too that we we in chaos and when everything is going nuts here we all want to be nurturing we all want to help each other and it's beautiful to see that yeah very uh, progress it, it, it's in a great position it's it's in a great position for progress and growth yeah so this chart is it just keeps on amazing me how uh, it helps us know what's what's happening and you know that chiron is pretty interesting for this year i i didn't pull chiron what what's what was in that it's the phoenix and it's it's a double trade actually of the phoenix and it's rising from the ashes so chiron is a wounded healer mm -hmm. rising from the ashes is that very cool <laughs> Well, the, we're beginning to rise. We're beginning to rise. Well, we have, just the hope of that. Yeah. Just yeah. to know that that's where our wounds are, are, are in the ashes. And to have Phoenix there rising from that, there's hope. Yeah, that's, that's quite beautiful. Okay, so um, let's talk about uh, other planets and what they are offering for the year. Well, so Mars, we could talk a little bit about Mars. Mars is a little bit immature, but it certainly is uh, action. And it's uh, favorable in um, the 14th gate. And again, um, bringing something new, unexpected, but, um, you know, uh, in, the, in, in the line of service, utilizing- Selfless, selfless service. Selfless so, service. So Mars is where you know where there's struggle, where we're learning, and bumping into things. Mm -hmm. And it's also a, the warrior, also. So it, it can be a big troublemaker, and it could be a big troublemaker wanting selfless service. That too, it could be greed, right? Selfless contribution to society, or it could be the opposite. Yeah, and there'll be other sides of it, of course, you know, yet I think there's so many people who really know that we need to work together and be of service to each other. And, and there's also a trait at, at Mars having to do with um, pacing, trying to not upset the apple cart too much, avoiding too much divergence. And I think that's helpful too. Finding the right rhythm. Yes. So another, these are right on. You know, there, there are, as you know, there are hundreds and hundreds of possible traits. And there are only 26 in a chart. And in which 26 of those hundreds are there could be any of them. There could be so many in here that would be horrible. And we don't get those. We're getting some really good ones here. So, yeah. and helpful ones. Um, let's look at, at Neptune. You know, that's about creating a, a larger, trying to find a larger framework, restructuring things in a larger framework that works. So, that's, we should be happy about that. And then, also, um, Neptune has composure in it. So we're trying to find balance. Yeah, and, and, and the gift of, of that is the inquiry. 
And I think that's good for all of us is, you know, is to move from doubt to being curious and inquire. Right. So on a personal level, I think that's something that people can um, remember through the year when they doubt or they get reactive is to move into, well, let's just see. Yeah, good. Right. Let's be composed that's about it. Yes, that's good. We've, we've had some practice, plenty to react to in 2017. Yes. Plenty to react to. <laughs> well, there'll be more to react to. Hopefully it will be less reactive. Well, more to react to, but let's say that we'll be more composed and, and more used to the, you know, having things to react to so that we do a better job. And, and, and let's look at, at Pluto. Because Pluto, there's karma there. Pluto is a shadow. So Pluto is where we, we might struggle the most to win. And this is, uh, one trait is magnanimity, is to struggle to create fruitful relationships. So this year, we're all going to be wanting to get along better. And, and being frustrated, because it's a shadow that it's not so easy, but we're going to keep trying. And um, and on the unconscious side, it goes back to that secret relationships and informal channels, and that has to do with ambition. So if we want to create results, we really have to work privately. We have to talk at a, a more intimate level. All right. Again, so. the alliances and community. Yeah. Now, there's, there are other things to look at. I mean, there is a body graph of the year that uh, we could can talk about. We only have about a minute left, so I don't think we can get into really the nitty gritty of that. Um, but I, I do see that there's a, a split in this chart um, at, um, at the throat, which has to do with trying to be more tolerant feeling that we can never be tolerant enough and trying to explain ourselves in ways that we all feel, I wish I could explain myself better. And so those are the splits. That's where the, the Achilles heel this year will be those two feelings of getting along better and being able to talk better. Right. Right. And, you know, the, the, a natural pull to, towards relationships. Right. Right, good. Because we so, can't solve it on our own. Regina Concatelli, we can go on and on, but we don't have time. Thank you so much. Regina, tell us how do people can find you. Oh, thank you, Peter. Uh, AlignWithYourDesign.com is my website, and uh, you can call me directly, 707-888-3569. If you want a free chart, just email me at Regina at AlignWithYourDesign.com. That's great. Thank you so much, Regina. And this is Peter Roth, your host at Energy Stew. I can be reached at peter at heartriver, H-E-A-R-T, river.org, or 212-222-7748. I'd love to hear from you. And thanks so much for listening.